Major Slack Attack. But yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Lazy Boy Overdrive. This is it. This is the big kahuna. This one, this one is for all the marbles. Let's make ourselves an overdrive build. Got everything ready? We've got all is in readiness. All is in readiness, doctor. All right, let's do this. I got a big to-do list here. This is going to be a complicated process. I'm going to have to read out my to-do list uh, to make sure I get it all right. Number one, go to the smithing station and take out eight strips, three leather, six, six silver ingots, four quick silver, and 28 stallrim. First of all, let's um, make some quicksilver ingots out of these guys. Very good. Okay, what did I say? Eight strips, as in leather. Oh, I have to have. I have to have just that much. Um, <laughs> that's probably why it says eight strips, three leather. Six silver ingots, which we um, <clears throat> appropriated from the Dragon's Reach study just recently. Four quicksilver we got, all the star room as we bring it all on board. And that is it. Tan two leather into strips. That will make 16 strips and one leather. Double check. 16 strips, one leather. Check. Forge, one leather braces. This is this leather bracers is for, for one of our um, alchemy slash business gears that we're just gonna throw away. So it doesn't matter what we make it, the gloves out of. Um, so we just use leather bracers. And we want a whole bunch of rings, a whole bunch of necklaces. So let's say four silver rings and three silver necklaces four rings and three necklaces next star room gear I have some stall room gear let's just see I bought some and you have been may have been lucky to have find I found some too If you didn't, um, I have, you know, everything is configured so that you'll be able to have, you'll have enough resources to make everything. So we need, or rather I need, all I need is a helmet and a mace, fortunately enough, star room helmet and a mace which is the weirdest isn't that the weirdest mace okay so there's our gear I'm gonna go with my original plan I wanted to do away with vegetable soup and put absorb stamina on one of the um on one of the weapons, but now I've changed my mind. I think I want to go with my original plan, which is to make him so super tanky, so that we're gonna put absorb health on both weapons. Um, and he's gonna be absorbing almost his entire health pool in one dual wielding power attack, which is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. He can be taken down to within an inch of his life and he'll reabsorb his all his health in one power attack, okay? So um, I was trying to, I was thinking of making two war axes and then put absorb health on one and absorb stamina on the other but um no i have aborted that plan so those go in um these go in just to make it easier when it comes to enchanting okay stash all the stall room gear for now and now we go on to the alchemy slash enchanting potion loop 
put on your old gear, your old business gear, your old like uh, whatever you called it, your crafting gear, the gear that gives you four times um, fortify alchemy. Assuming that you've been following me, I want my walker. Okay, you got that gear on. Once you've got that gear on, and you've got these books, these various black books. Read the black book, Sallow Regent. Okay, and you have a choice of three options here. Seeker of Sorcery, Seeker of Might, or Seeker of Shadows. Seeker of Shadows is the one we want now. Back to Solstein, which will take us back to the house. Okay, now we can make the most powerful potions at this moment. Okay, let's make some. Let's make some enchanting potions. Quick say before every crafting session. We've got the ingredients on board. The heck what happened there? Okay, something uh well, let me just cancel out of here. I fumble fingered and I pressed two keys at once and something like it's kinda haywire. Okay, here we go. Ingredients, uh Hagraven Claw and Snowberries. That is correct. Enchanting potions at thirty-five percent. Let's make four. Only four. Two, three, four. Done. All right. Um, my notes say stash the business gear. That's right, stash the business gear. We don't need it anymore. Just keep it nice, nice and organized. Even that. <laughs> Would you <have> a sec? <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're gonna make you some new gear. Post haste. Um, equip Azadal's gear. Did I take it out? No, I did not. You know what, I meant to stash it all here for safekeeping. Oh, okay, I forgot to do that. Okay, I'll just skip ahead. Okay, there we go. We've got all of Azadal's gear on board. You have to wear the boots of water walking. Let's just wear it all. You have to wear at least four pieces, and one of them has to be the boots of water walking. This should do it. This should give us Azadal's genius as a active effect. There it is. Increase your enchanting skill by 10 points. Okay, so we're ready to rock. Now, we're going to go back. To the Sala region and this time activate the Seeker of Sorcery. Seeker of Sorcery. Back to the homestead. Take out all the filled Grand Soul Gems. Those are misfilled. Here they are. That should be plenty. Okay. Now we're ready to make our new business gear, but this is just a temporary throwaway gear, okay? Quick save. And we're going to use these 35% potions to do it. Um, I just want to mention something right now. I'm not going to be using potions of restoration in this process, okay? I consider that a glitch. But you can use that. Um, you can have to look it up on the UESP website. I can't advise you on that. But you can do that to make potions that are a hell of a lot stronger. Um, I cannot, in all good conscience, make any connection between restoration and alchemy or restoration and enchanting. 
it, there is none. So to me, that's a glitch. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing that. Just throwing that out there right now. Um, okay, so we're gonna make ourselves the business two gear. That's hat, bracers, necklace, and ring. Um, the most important thing is having fortify alchemy. Everything else, it doesn't really matter because it, like I said, this is just throwaway gear. We're just gonna use it once to make better potions. All right, so here we go. Potion. Hat, any hat. Soul gem, grand, and alchemy. And I'm just being consistent, locked in cooking, it doesn't really matter. We call it the business to hat. And this should make 34%. That's correct. Creative potions are 34% more powerful. Okay, so let's do the same with the bracers, the necklace, and the ring. Take a potion. Leather bracers. Black soul jam. Alchemy. And fortify smoothing. Like I said, the second enchantment doesn't really matter. If you really want to get, you know, super picky, you could put the most valuable enchantment as the second enchantment. Um, so that when it comes to sell, I'm presuming that it would sell for more. I didn't really test that. Um, let's double check. Business 2 Bracers. Creative potions are 34% more powerful. That is correct. Fortify enchanting. It's time we go for a necklace and a ring. Necklace. It's all good. Alchemy and smithing once make once again just being systematic. There we go. That's our new business gear, or rather our new alchemy gear. Let's put it on. Okay. Now um, same thing, let's go back to the Salad region and activate the Seeker of Shadows again. Forgot to explain, the Seeker of Shadows will make our potions 10% better as he affects all stealth skills. And alchemy is a stealth skill, so that's why we're doing that. Okay, so let's do that. Accept that. Back to the HQ. Okay, double check the effects. We have our alchemy gear on and Seeker of Shadows. Very good. Now we're going to make basically our final gear, our final business gear. Quick save. And for this, we want to make five pieces because we're going to add um, some clothes for um, a fourth fortified smithing enchantment. All right, so when that, this time we want five potions of fortified enchantment. Yeah, it's really freaking complicated. Okay, so five times. And these should come out at 39%. Just checking my notes here. Okay. Yep, that's right. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Thirty-nine percent. That is correct.
you equip as a doll's gear. As it all's genius, that's correct. Stash this business gear because there's no it's no good anymore. Okay, now we're gonna make the final set. Read the book. This time activate Seeker of Sorcery again. Sorcery. Back to the HQ. Okay, and now we're going to use the 39% potions basically to make our final business gear, the business 3 gear, I'm going to call it. All right? Quick save. I'm going to use my chef's hat. It's a tradition. Alchemy and lock picking. Alchemy. Lock picking. Business three hat. And this should be at 35%. Very good. Creative potions are 35% more powerful. That is correct. That's the best we can do. But we can make more powerful potions once we have this business gear together. Okay, so let's make another one. Blacksmith's apron, that's always a, a tradition. Soul Jam Black. And this is going to have smithing and stamina on it. Fortify smithing, fortify stamina. I should have called it a business suit. That's what I meant to do. I don't want to break from routine. Let me just do it over. Every time I make a tiny break from routine, horrible things happen. <laughs> okay, here we go. Stamina and smithing. Business three suit. You happy? Slag? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> it's important. You know. You people, you hardcore slackers have seen it time and time again in my walkthroughs. I make one little tiny break from the routine and all of a sudden it cascades into this humongous error, you know. And it, so yeah, there we go. 35%, everything's good. Quick save. Next, we're going to do the gloves, the necklace, and the ring, all with alchemy and smithing. Gloves. Alchemy, smithing. This is three gloves. Alchemy. Smithing. Business three necklace. Correct. Business three ring. Let's double check everything. 
Creative potions are 35% more powerful weapons and armor can be proved 35% better. That's correct. 35% and lock picking 56%. Per percent. Correct. 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 And correct Amundo. That's our new gear. Let's slap it on. Looking pretty spiffy there, lazy boy. And now we're gonna make the very best potions that we can make with this loop. Like I said, you can go, you can go better if you like use fortify restoration potions into the mix. You put that into the mix, and it goes even better. But uh, that's the best we can make. Um, Seeker of Shadows again. Back to the HQ. Now, I'm gonna make all the rest of the the potions, enchanting potions, which is nine. You know, I think I got a blue butterfly wing. Let's just make a. Let's go grab that. We can make 10 just for, uh, yeah. There you go, that is correct, 40%. That is the very best we can do. If we go through the loop again, we will not be able to make better than 35% gear. Okay, so that's the, that's the best we can do, the, the loop will not like this is the point of um, we've reached the point of dimin not diminishing return. The, we've reached the point of no return, basically. Okay. Oh, I forgot to take out the extra snowberries. Those are our 40% 40, 40 enchanting potions. And let's make some smithing potions now. Check this out. Weapon and armor improving is 158% better. So you really only need one of those, but I, like, I usually like to crank out a few extra. All right. 